Hello, Quincy. Mayor Tom Koch here with today's update on COVID-19. I trust you had a good weekend. The weather was absolutely gorgeous, uh, really beautiful out there. So uh, even though the weather is getting better, we're still under the, uh, really the recommendations of social distancing. And when you're going into a, a pharmacy or supermarket, please wear your mask. If you're out walking by yourself, it's not a problem not to have a mask on, but uh, use common sense. Uh, we have some interesting stats today to share with you. We've been giving you kind of some raw numbers, but we do a little bit more in depth. I think you'd find it interesting. But first of all, we have 885 confirmed cases. We have 80 deaths at this point. Uh, 371 have recovered fully. Total cases in mass is just over 69,000 uh, statewide. So um, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some of the stats if I could. So uh, age, average age of the positive cases is 57 years old. The average age of the fatal cases is 81 years old. As you know, many of the rehab facilities and elder homes have been whacked much harder than, than anything else. Uh, gender 55% have been female and 43% have been male that have been affected. 30% of the positive cases from nursing home assisted care, 70% not. That shows you the skewing uh, of the population. Uh, infection rate, this is an interesting one. The infection rate for March 30th that week had a 583% increase. April 6th, 112% increase. April 13th, 88% increase. April 20th, 62% increase. And then April 27th was 36%, and today it's 20%. So, so folks, it's still rising, but a much lower level. It's really starting to flatten out, as the governor's been talking about, as others have talked about nationally, trying to get it to flatten and drop in the other direction. So what you're doing is helping. Everybody can do what they're supposed to do. Is, it does make a difference. It matters. The numbers are bearing that out. So I know um, everyone out there is as frustrated as I am to get back to some kind of normalcy, but the goal has been not to transmit it and to reduce the numbers. And I'm not going to declare victory at this point, uh, but we're going in the right direction. I think it's fair to say. Um, so other comparisons, Quincy, we're 1.3% of the total cases statewide. And that really hasn't moved from the beginning of our numbers, our stats. Uh, about 765 cases per 100,000 as of last week's. That doesn't necessarily compare with the, the number I'm giving you today. Um, 76 deaths out of 4,000 is about 1.9% of the total deaths. So a little higher than our infection rate due to the cluster, as I mentioned, the Quincy rehab case where they lost 30 people in that one facility. Uh, Quincy's below the state average on a per capita basis and nowhere near the infection rate of many other cities. Boston has 1,300. Uh, per 100,000. Lynn has 2,000 per 100,000. Brockton has 2,800 per 100,000. Malden, which is smaller than Quincy, but 1,100 per 100,000. And Braintree has 1,500 per 100,000. Uh, now that doesn't mean that, you know, everything is perfect and rosy. That means that we are making a difference by the changes we've made, by really following the guidelines and, and the social distancing and wearing the masks and just uh, really uh, do what we need to do to get through this. I know the weather the last couple of weeks has probably helped us. And I know this past weekend was a great temptation to be out there. And I was out walking at night. I saw a lot of other people walking and that's fine. Uh, again, it's that group play we're trying to avoid, uh, keeping that, that social distancing. I also want to make a notation that the Walmart in Quincy was closed effective 3.30 today. Uh, Health Commissioner Ruth Jones has been on top of that. They've had nine cases at Walmart of employees and they've had one employee that has passed away from the virus. So we certainly express our sympathy to her family. Uh, the, the health commissioner has been in touch with corporate Walmart and they made a decision on their own to close down, uh, go through the whole facility, clean it all once again, and test all their employees to see what other positive cases they may have. And so until further notice, the Walmart in Quincy is shut down and uh, the health commissioner fully agrees with that decision. So we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, with that, uh, I know the uh, COVID uh, hotline, 617-376-1288. And general question, 617-376-1272. And another reminder, I talked to the Secretary of State, Bill Galvin, the other day. And he told me the Quincy numbers are down from the state average on the federal census. That is a very important piece of information, folks. It's come into your home. You can do it either by um, going on the internet or you can do it physically and mail it back in. It really matters to the city and what we get in federal dollars back to our community. So the taxes you're paying, in order to get that back, we need to account for every citizen in our city. So we need you to follow up on that. Even if you've done it, 
Talk to a friend. Talk to your neighbor. Make sure they've all done it. Wards 2 and 4 in Quincy are the lowest responsive wards. So if you live in Ward 2, Ward 4, especially talk to your neighbors and friends about it. So with that, I thank you for tuning in. Stay safe. Till next time, God bless.